Hey, this is Eric, and in this video, we're going to be looking at accessibility tools for speech to text. Our students have so many amazing ideas in their minds, and we want to make sure they're able to get those words from their heads into writing. However, if a student struggles with typing or spelling, they may take those big, awesome ideas and shrink them down to smaller words and shorter sentences. We're going to look at two free and easy tools to help with this. The first speech to text tool we will explore is voice typing in Google Docs. This is not a tool that needs to be installed as it's already just a part of Google Docs. When a student is working in a document, all they have to do is click on the tools menu and then choose voice typing from the drop down menu. This will open a floating microphone. To start dictating to the document, simply click on the microphone icon. Now anything I say will automatically be typed into the document, period. This can be a wonderful way for students to express themselves if they struggle with typing or spelling, period. When done, we just click the microphone again to stop the speech to text. As you can see, you are also able to say punctuation. For a full list of all the commands you can speak, Click the question mark icon below the microphone, and this will open up a help menu with all of the details. In addition, note that you can choose a different language to speak by clicking above the microphone and then scrolling down to select the language or accent of your choice. Now, voice typing works great if you're inside of a Google Doc, but what if you want to do speech to text in something else, like maybe a quiz in a Google Form? Now, certainly you could still use voice typing in docs and then just copy and paste that into the other website. But there is actually a Chrome web extension that can be used when not in a Google Doc. This second tool is called voice in voice typing. This is a Chrome extension that can be installed from the Chrome web store. Once it's installed, we'll have a little microphone icon in the top right hand corner of Chrome with all the rest of our extensions. So let's say we're filling out a Google form. All we need to do is click inside of the text box that we need to complete and then click on the voice in voice typing extension and start speaking. This is just a test. We then click the microphone icon again to stop the speech to text. And there we have it. Our speech has now been converted to text inside of the Google form. As a bonus, if you are using a Chromebook, there's actually a speech to text tool built right in. Nothing needs to be installed. It just needs to be turned on. First, click in the bottom right corner of your Chromebook screen to open the system menu. Here, click on the accessibility icon. Now note, if you do not see the accessibility icon, you can click on the gear to go into the advanced settings to turn it on. Now from the accessibility menu, click on the dictation option to enable speech to text. This will put a little microphone icon down in the bottom right corner. Anytime you need to do speech to text, just click on the dictation icon and start speaking. Anything you say will automatically be typed into the computer wherever you are. This works in websites, documents, forms, and more. For more resources for support, accessibility, and accommodations, be sure to check out my detailed 10-page resource document on Google Tools to Support All Learners, which includes resources and links for text-to-speech, speech-to-text, readability, reading comprehension, audio support, behavior, focus, organization, and much, much more. You can always get to this document at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash support. And for all of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com. Follow me on social media and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much and take care.